The schoolboy from Botswana, Lasile Taboho, crashes out once again at the Diamond League meet. We've seen that he's been on an epic rampage since the Olympic final of the 200 meters, and then he ran that four by four, and then from there, it was an undefeated um, turn of events from then. Every single meet, no matter what event he's participated in since then, has been a win. What's good, everybody? It's the GOAT Aaron Brown. And before this video starts, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. It's linked down below in the description. And if you want to support my channel even further, be sure to hit the thanks button right above the comment section. And also become a member. It's linked down below in the description as well. Let's jump straight into it. So 1955 is the time we just seen a Cele run. And this is really good because this is the third fastest time that he's ever ran and he's moving down back towards that 19-4 range and he didn't even have a great start and a great middle portion of the race he just had a really strong finish because Kenny was leading the majority of the race but like the last 15 meters he realized that no matter how fast Kenny is running no matter how fast Arian Knighton is running I got the country of Botswana waiting on me i got them counting on me and i got them expecting great things out of me so despite how fast these guys running i know i have it within myself to go faster than them so he just easily moonwalks past kenny benerick at the end of that 200 and he runs a great time of 1955 and kenny was there he just got out leaned at the line and there was nothing he could do about it silver place kenny silver bullet kenny Ran 1957, which is a hell of a time, which wins 99% of every meet on a Diamond League circuit. But unfortunately, when you got guys, especially when they come off of winning championships and they're running for a bigger purpose than themselves, they just become really, really hard to beat. And when they build that confidence from getting these certain type of wins and realizing no matter whether they, they have a good start or have a bad start, that they still can beat you. Hard, hard, hard person to beat, and it's a very hard task to accomplish. But I knew this guy was coming a different type of way and had a different purpose and was going to be really, really hard to beat last week when I seen him with the Pope. I said, yeah, he's out there with the Pope. I don't think he's going to be losing none this year. And going into 2025, after he rests up and let his body recover, he's going to be... An insane, insane specimen out there putting down legendary performances, meet after meet, and you're going to drop something hot. And that's why I have him right now not losing another championship final until he retires. Like, I don't see him. You got to think about it. The next Olympic Games, he's going to be, what, 25 years old. And then the Olympic Games after that, he's still going to be in his 20s. So it's like, this guy, he, he has youth on his side. He's from a country to where he doesn't have to, like, mash the gas all year round just to make the team and just to run times, even qualify for trials and things like that. So he has that luxury. And guys with that blueprint, they usually go on to have really long careers. And they usually go on to do really good things. And I knew after he broke that 300-meter world record that, yeah, that meant something because the last three guys who had a 300-meter world record, Wave and Kirk, Usain Bolt, and Michael Johnson, all three of those guys were world record holders in their primary events. So I definitely can see him breaking some type of record in a foreseeable future. But right now, he just collecting these checks. He's getting that appearance fee. He's collecting that 10000 for these Diamond League wins. He already got four or five of them. The May 50, 60,000 just in prize money alone after the Olympics. He's really turned himself into a millionaire in one season. And I know he's the type of guy to get this success and get this fame and get this fortune and realize that I can really change things if I go get more. So it motivates him to run faster. It motivates him to win more and just get the credit and the respect that he deserves and give like Botswana the respect that they deserve. And then being a pioneer as the first gold medalist from the country motivates the younger athletes in the country to do great things. So I feel like he's going to be a hard person to be in the future. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. I'm out.